Hi everyone, welcome to Football DNA. Just with a very, very good friend of mine, an old uh, sparring partner playing against him, and a legend playing with him, Mr. Marlon Airwood. Mazza, welcome to Football DNA. You alright? Yeah, great to see you, mate. And you? Really indeed. good to see you. So we're in uh, Mazza's AC13 offices, very plush offices as well, excellent. Marlon's got a bespoke car company, uh, and doing very well as well, so life after football is good. Also getting into his coaching back at his first club forest so we're going to ask him all about that as well so so Mazza, great to see you mate and you and you I just want to talk a bit about your career because you had a fantastic career i did wikipedia before and did i forgot you? how many clubs you played for <laughs> <laughs> so i had to write it down here yeah. good 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 but you was a london boy yeah but you came up to nottingham when you was a when you was a baby when you was a kid yeah an academy when i was about 13 14. 13, 14 yeah see i always thought you was a nottingham boy i must admit yeah just everyone because. says that because i've been there quite a so while. So you grew up in order in the Academy at Forest? Yeah, I was here. From that like age? Eight, probably eight to ten years. Was you? Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. And then you broke into the first team there. Yeah. And had a fantastic time. Yeah, it was good times, mate, good times. I mean, who was the managers at the times there? Because um, the time I was signing on my schoolboys, uh, Cluffy was just retiring that year right. and, and Forest, I think, went down. And oh, then okay. Frank Clark took over. Yeah. And then uh, that generation of Frank Clark. So that was that generation just and after Cluffy, which Dave was... Bassett, that, that generation as well. Okay, so that was quite tough after Cluffy, wasn't it? Because obviously Cluffy was such a legend. Yeah, he was here. He yeah, was very well loved, to be fair. Yeah, massive and transition period, really. But then, so how long after that then did you did you break into the first team? What age was you then? Four, I think it was four years after that. I was uh, just 18, touching 18, 17. Brilliant. So that's a great early start, around, isn't it? Yeah, I was around the first team, which was... Really. So you're back, you're back coaching at Knox for, at Forest now. Yeah, and that sort of age group again. Yeah, yeah. So that, that must be amazing. Seems like, weird. Like, yeah, like, yeah, I never even thought about it like that. It just made me think that. But the, the young lads that I have are wicked. Really? I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it so much. A lot more technique than than you what had back had, in the day. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know it's a lot more serious now, and they do a lot more in the classroom towards the football and stuff down here. And they take yeah, but they've got a lot more, a lot more given to them as well. All yeah. the facilities and how to. What to do and not to do, and it's it's a whole different ball game now compared yeah. to what we was like. Yeah, it does. I mean, I was Notts County, and that was at Leicester Forest. Yeah. <laughs> so it was, it was tough. I mean, it was great. I mean, I loved every minute of, of growing up in in yeah. a football club and that. So it's fantastic, wasn't it? Just um, who was the other big names? Who did you play with? You, you struck up a partnership with David Johnson there as well. Yeah, you? I did. We did. We had uh, we scored over fifty goals between did us you? that season. Did you score any past me? Probably, Jimmy. What do you mean, probably? No <laughs> <Old> way. <laughs> I, I'm trying to think there as I asked the question. Yeah, no. It must have been. They must sure. have been. Have have a little, Played against a, a few search. times, didn't we, when you were at Forest? Yeah. I think I was at Walsall at the time, so. Yeah. You probably definitely scored yeah, against me there. We haven't been Walsall. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. So after Forest, how long did you stay there? At Forest? Yeah. Um, so at the 18th. I think it was 24. 24. So you've got a real good stint there. Yeah. And that was West Ham. And Alan Pardew, Alan Pardew took you to West yes, Ham. Yes, West Ham. After that, and that was half a million, all right, saying yeah, that? Yeah, 500. Which, for your return, down the line after that's a great return. Yeah, no, it? it was decent. I can't believe it. So, your first year was with Pards. Yeah. And that was that culminated in the playoff final loss against Crystal Palace, was yes. that that year? Yeah, that year. I'm right, I saying that. that year, and then the, year, the next year, we got promoted. I don't like to say that's the year I came. Was it? So you lost the year before. Well, I can't really remember. And I Jimmy. came and we won. There was a few other goalkeepers that was on. You're mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not even joking. <laughs> no, I remember what a great time as well. That was, that was amazing, fantastic. I came just. I remember meeting Paz a couple of days after the yeah. playoff final loss, and, and he was devastated. He was, he was lower than a snake's belly at the time. So I'm thinking, well. I, I think know. that gave him this fire. I think it did in the end because uh, some people, some people go the other way yeah. but I think he thought I've got a chance here to, yeah. to do it again do you think that's how well, yeah, you knew what to do from a year before definitely because we did it yeah well we did do it so a year as well, oh, it? mate can't describe you know when you talk when people ask me questions about like where was my best time obviously Forrest was my best time when I was on first but you know yeah. People don't understand how good West Ham was. That's so good, wasn't it? I, I mean, the, I, the I lads that we had there. I will tell you, any player that played for West Ham in that in that time would would have been their best time. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm with you 100. percent The that. change room, just playing, the the, the 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 staff, the fans. It was just um, it's undescribable. It is. It is. No, when I'm talking to you now, it just makes me. I just have flashbacks. Exactly. Just like, so, who was your boyhood club? 
Tottenham. Was it? Were you Spurs? Yeah. Was you? Yeah. So. so and you, but you, now you'd probably say like you vert towards West Ham. Yeah. Because, because of that I, time. I went to I'm, the game I'm the other week, like watching West Ham and Spurs, and I, I don't know who to watch. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm just sitting there, just watching a game of football. Yeah. Because I love both yeah, teams. Yeah, it's great. But then it? when I see the West Ham fans celebrating, I just want to celebrate. You want to celebrate? And then I see the Tottenham fans celebrate. I want to celebrate, but then. And then they're walking out and they're all upset about the game and I'm like, oh, oh no. So I'm no. just talking to my kids. I just, <laughs> just, just put the blinkers on yeah, the walk. Concentrate on the kids. Yeah, I was at the game with you. It was a, that was an unbelievable game, wasn't it? Yeah. Jesus, that was a game of two arms. It was off. a really, really good game. But yeah, I mean, so going back, we that season, like you, like you touched on, we had a fantastic squad, didn't we? Yeah. Such a good mix of old la older lads, more yeah, experienced yeah. like yourself, Teddy. He couldn't put some quality players in Bobby Z. It was great. Anton. Characters we had in that dressing room, it was just a... It was so good. I think, I, I, I just thought there's something special going to happen mm. that year and, and sure enough... It did. It did, didn't like it? Didn't, was... It didn't end on a, on a flourish. Obviously the final would have... we won the final, it would have just been the, the greatest ever... Or the, the Palace one. Yeah. Yeah. So... So, when, so the year after, to do it after, because like I said, I met Paz and he was really low. Mm. And I was actually thinking, maybe this is not the right time to go there, but... With everything, I'm, I'm yeah. so glad I did. And like I said, the lads you had left over from that season, the lads you had, the pause added as well. I think you really added to the change room, didn't you? Yeah. Which taught me a big lesson in change rooms, really, because before you just have who you have. I think Paz had really studied it and thought he needed some more yeah, characters character. and experience in there to help the young lads through. Yeah. So you think at the time, like Nigel Rio Coca was 17, 18, yeah, and going on 19, and, and you know, Noble was coming through at 17, yeah, 18. All the heads. And that, when you speak about Noble, I think because of the characters we had in that dressing room, it's made him the man he is yeah. today. Yeah, I agree. Uh, and I, it's weird because I look up to him now. He was looking up to me. <laughs> it's amazing. Isn't and it? I look up it to him. Sense, and yeah. I'm like, it, it, yeah, I, f I feel a little bit of pride at yeah, times, you know, yeah, because yeah. When I probably to taught him a lot of things, hopefully, in that, at that no, time. He's, he's amazing. Some good, some bad. Well. I used to take him home. Yeah. I used to drop him home as a little lad. I because know, I'll never no. forget, obviously, training, and he lived around on the way home. When I was going home, and I used to drop him off, and then now I'm looking at him. Yeah, like yeah, I'm the same. I see him on the interviews, and that and he speaks so well it's and a proper on the pitch. Oh, yeah, mate. so proud. He's of fantastic. It's so, so to get promotion with that group, yeah. yeah, I mean he's up there as one of my best achievements. Would you put? Would you rank that that year we got up from the championship to to the Prem as, as one of the best you've had? Um, for promotion, yeah. it is, yeah, definitely one of my best. But obviously, my best um, moment at West Ham was the semi final. Exactly. So that was just a. I mean, that's incredible. I mean, that was. Indescribable was... feeling and noise I've never heard before in my life. Incredible. So, <laughs> people can't understand. It, the floor incredible. was shaking. I know, it was, wasn't it? So, that's. That was amazing. I mean, that was. that For me, that was. Because I obviously. Not wrong going to, but that was my knee in the playoff yeah, final. Yeah. At the last couple of minutes. So. I had a long road to get back to that. So I watched you then get into the Prem. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't envious, I was, because I wanted to be there with you. You're yeah, my definitely. teammates, you're, yeah. my, you're my boys who I've done it with. So I had to watch you, I was so pleased for you. I remember, you, did you score three against Villa in one of the first home games? That's just it's crazy. And that was incredible. I remember watching that from the top, and I was like a proper fan then. Yeah. I was, I was cheering, I'm on people's shoulders yeah, in the stand. It was an amazing time. And that gave me the buzz to think, do you know what, and everyone sort of wrote me off from me, and yeah. Thought that's in me finish, but I thought, do you know what? No chance I'm missing out on this business. I know. I'm getting involved with you. So to get back and actually play a part in towards the end, like you say, the semi finals, I mean, the court final at uh, Man City was crazy. Well, was incredible. Did, did Dino score a couple? Did yeah, Dino scored. So he notched a couple there, and then to go to the semis, like you said, was oh, at Villa Park as well. Yeah. It was an amazing atmosphere. It was never in doubt, really, was it? No, it's quite weird though. Strange, like being at Villa Park and then. Me ending up at Villa. I know, I know. It's, it's funny weird. how it works, isn't it? It's just a weird situation. Funny, it's, that's why I think it's such a great game, isn't it? This football art. Oh, it's, it's so good. I do miss, I mean, I miss playing massively. Do you miss yeah, it? Yeah, I miss playing. I think more than anything, I miss the bit in the tunnel. Yeah. You know, going out, do down you? the tunnel, the crowd, and you yeah. get the buzz as you go out. And then I miss the change room banter. Yeah, that, I was just about to say, I don't miss any of that. The only thing I miss is the change room banter and the training. Yeah, the training obviously repetitive every day. Yeah, it's really good keeping your body fit and stuff like yeah, that. Absolutely, That's yeah, I could right. do a little bit of that. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it sounds incredible. I mean, so I mean, you had a great time. The West Ham fans love you there as well. Every time we go back, I've been back with you. Yeah, you know, I can remember the last game at the Bowling. You know, we was in the stands and uh, I think uh, Bianca 
West Westwood. She, yeah, yeah, she came over That's and did a little thing and come over and yeah. had a conversation in there and it was, it was just great memories, wasn't it? And it was such emotion that night. But like, I remember you speaking on there and the, the crowd were buzzing off you. And that, yeah, so it's, it's really good. It's a great, great feeling because yeah, they're so passionate. Absolutely. I think that's one of the reasons why like we love it so much because the, the, so. the passion around the club is just phenomenal. Yeah, I think so, mate. Okay. So after, after, after West Ham, mm -hmm. that was uh, Villa. Yeah. Am I right in saying that? You went for a good fee there as well. Yeah, three, four years I was there. I went for four million. Four million, was yeah. it? And who, who took you there? Cause Martin O'Neill. It was Martin O'Neill, was yeah. it? Because there was rumours he was going to Wigan as yes, well, he was doing well at the time. And he rang me up like a couple of hours before I was really? just doing to say, like, if you go in there, do you fancy coming here? So that swayed you? It's just like, from him ringing you? Well, I don't know. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's what like one of them things that, like, especially being a forest legend as well, isn't he? Yeah, so you, you hear about these things, and when if someone like manager like that's coming in for you, right. you can't really turn them things down. No disrespect to any other manager yeah, or club not. or anything like that, but. You just want to sometimes be with the best, and and you know, he was probably at the yeah, time at that time as well. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, still is doing brilliant. Yeah, so hopefully, getting to the World Cup would be yeah. fantastic. So, so at Villa, mm -hmm. how how was that time for you there? Was that it was, hard, it was a hard time. time it was a hard time because obviously you went from going from such a good club at West Ham I went to like I won't say even bigger club, but they had some big players there, yeah. and it was so hard to get into there as much as I would like to. I was I was scoring goals coming off the bench. But obviously, sometimes I weren't enough because when a manager's got something in his mind, that's that's it that's really. It. So it was a bit of a hard time for me at the time from not playing. Yeah. But at the same time, it was a good time because that dressing room was, was quite, a good, a good change room. Yeah, as well. good, decent. Good. So you went on loan from there a couple of times, but the big, probably the best one was Newcastle for yeah, you. Yeah, Newcastle. Was you had a good time up there. Yeah, I know you really spoke good. about it before and you yeah, enjoyed really it up really there, good. didn't you? Yeah. Because they, well, I felt sorry for them to be fair because they went down, didn't they? That's right. And then they, um, obviously, they had some from going down, that whole season when they went down, they was getting some really bad stick because they've got some really top class players. And it was one of them, if they could keep them or they can come back up. And literally they I went there to help a man, they come back and up. And did it. Yeah. Which is, it's like Andy Carroll, Nolan, cool. Nicky yes, Bart, Alan Smith. Smith. Jeez. Joey really Bart and all them kind of. Yeah, I remember it. it. I remember it now, yeah. When you say all the names, I can remember Tales. going back up, which is. Yeah. So I have that on the CV as Ryan, well. Going I think it was Ryan and Stephen Taylor. There was just there was loads. Was it was it a decent goal return there as well? I think it was. Yeah, scored right. quite a few down there. Yeah, remember it's Derby's you'll, as well. You'll be loved. You'll be loved up there when you go back. Middlesbrough, well, Newcastle, was, Derby. I know. Always ball. remember that, wouldn't they? Yeah. There. It was really good. Ah, that's great. I love it. Did you have a spell in China? Am I right in saying yes, that? I did. I did. I did. How did you, that was the end of Blackpool. When was, is that sort of? Good? When they started getting big, or was that before they went really big and started chucking money out of China? That was before. Was that before? Yeah, I was happy I went before. Yeah. It, I, I think I was the only English person there. Really? And one of the teams that I joined, they got um, uh, relegated to the, the Division 1, because there's like Super League and then there's a Division 1, and the Division 1, and they wanted to get back straight to the Super League, and we did it. And you did that as well? Yeah. So you got a great CV on that yeah, as well. Yeah, mate, Fantastic. it was amazing. Amazing ah, great. experience. So you, and you enjoyed that experience yeah, out there? Yeah, very much so. Because I, I watch some of their training now, like obviously with the, with the coaching side of things, mm. and some of the drills they're doing are top draw and it's yeah. so technical and skillful. All of them are. I, I was I'm very surprised myself, but because of the humidity as well, it's so hot and they're right. so fit. Because like the, like when they're training, they're training for hours on end and they they train three, four times a day as well and everything. So, so having watched it, I, I always thought like, in a few years' time, they could actually trouble the World Cup. Do, yeah. you, do you think the same? Was it too far off? No, they could. Yeah, so because they they they've done one in the last few. Yeah, no, no. They were there, them, but the thing, thing is, they get obviously now when we talk about China nowadays, they're getting players there as well. Yeah. So the Chinese players can only learn yeah, off the players that are there. Yeah, so it it'll, be, it'll be interesting. Very ah, interesting. Great. Well, so I mean, that's that's your career. I know you played for it was a couple of games just for the love of the game I think at the end of it and not yeah. eating and things like that yeah, yeah, I actually just coached there as just well just stay in as long did you? Okay, well, can't you remember really I think I was only there a week and then I, I went off to Palace with Paws but Kev Wilson and Stephen Kev Chettle, wasn't it? Come in. I did a little week with him just to yeah. help him out a little bit really and oh, then decent. he was asking about you and I went I'll oh, get him in he'd be brilliant for yeah. you Kev and Chet's are wicked yeah they're great weren't they yeah, I love Chet. proper non-league yeah. DNA as well there as well I really enjoyed it for the, I only there a couple of weeks but yeah, I enjoyed it I would have stayed but obviously Paul wanted me got to have a so I thought well I've got a chance so after the career yeah I think during it towards the end you started AC13 yeah 
Uh, how's that going for you? Is well, I started uh, AC13 when I joined West Ham. Oh, did you? Yeah. How was that long ago? Yeah, so it was... Um, you never saw me, Carl. What's going on? No, no. Is it because it was bigger? Like, really? No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's been going like that. It's been going on since then right. in the background. Oh, okay. And really. then these last couple of years, I thought to myself, you know what, I'm going to obviously chill, make time for my family, yeah. which is the main reason why I've stopped. And it's nice to have that feeling. And then I was just putting face to company, really. And then it's just gone really well after the last uh, two years. Brilliant. So you're going to try and yeah. keep that going and kicking on with it? Ah, excellent. Well, I mean, the setup here is fantastic. So Thank you. Thank I see you. some of the cars in the garage with some of the shirts. We took a few pictures, so yeah, it's fantastic. I'm glad to see it going well. I mean, you have the lifestyle with it as well, the yeah. AC13 yeah. lifestyle. So it sounds like it's all going good guns, mate. Yeah, trying, trying. Good. Well, that's the main thing, mate. So if I can ask you a couple of last questions, I'm going to give you the quick fire ones. Oh, God. Don't, I'm going to give you the quick fire ones Go just on to then. test you a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So, fave times in football, basically. West Ham. Brilliant. Fave manager? Fave manager, Alan Pardew, because of West Ham. Yeah. The time I had there. Fantastic. Um, favourite memories? I'll give you a top three. Favourite memories? Favourite memories? Well, I think my first one's my first hat trick. At Upton Park. Was that the Villa one? Yeah. Was it? Yeah. That was one of my so favourite that's memories. My, that was amazing. That was one of my favourite memories. That was like welcome memories. to the Premier League. I think that's one. And then the second one's probably my Cup Cup final. The semi-final goal. Yeah, definitely. So, and then the last one. See, I like them too, because they're, they're right up there as my favourite yeah. as well. We had a great time around them. And then the last one, I think, is the, the game at home against Arsenal when I scored the last minute. It's just how... Passionate everyone was Brilliant. and uh, had parts and thing had a fight. Is that when parts and Wenger had yeah. a fight? So that little things, who the one? Who the one? I know. People <laughs> say Wenger's got a bit of that. I think you might have been. Them silent people, you need to worry <laughs> about <laughs> <laughs> So you need to I'll worry about, about that. Pars, if Pars had got knocked out, he would have never heard the end of it from us. He would have got killed. <laughs> All right, so last one. Favourite goal. I'll give you the top three again. Favourite goal? Favourite one goal. Yes, yeah, it's, it's got to be my. The semi-final. The semi-final yeah, one, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, because me there's well, a lot, lot of meaning in that one. Absolutely. And I'd like to thank you for that as well. Because yeah. that was a I think we had a good party for after. about a week after that as well. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. It was so good. On yeah, my way to so, London to be fair. Well it's amazing. Man, it? Really good. Well, Mazza, bro. Top man, it's great to see you. And Congratulations yeah. on a fantastic career and uh everything you're doing with AC thirteen. I look forward to see more of Mazza on, on the Football DNA site with his coaching at, at Forest and seeing how he can progress them young guys and if they do half as well as you do mate they'll, they'll have a great career oh mate I'll try my hardest but it'd be nice to top man thanks for, and from all at Football DNA thank you very much Marlon Airwood top man top man sir